The disappearance of the British volunteers Andrew Bagshaw and Christopher Parry shows just how dangerous eastern Ukraine is at the moment. The pair were last seen leaving Kramatorsk for Solodar at 8 o'clock on Friday morning, an area which is currently the front line of very intense fighting. Following Russia's unsuccessful attacks on Kyiv, President Putin's special military operation appears focused on securing the Donbass and a land bridge between Russia and Crimea. Having seized the Luhansk region, Russia's military is now focused on the Domnetsk Oblast. Ukraine's military have proven brave and tenacious defenders, and the Russian advance had stalled. President Putin was forced to mobilise replacement personnel, but this risked undermining domestic support, as Russian families saw loved ones deployed and huge casualties potentially result. The Wagner mercenary group, led by this man, Yevgeny Prigozhin, was commissioned by President Putin to break the deadlock. However, this approach has led to huge Russian casualties and no significant breakthrough. As a result, in the past few days, the Russians appear to have changed tactics and are now attempting to encircle Bakhmut. Solodar is 10 kilometres north of Bakhmut and, according to defence sources, it has just fallen to Russian forces. Solodar has some tactical military significance but is also the gateway to over 200 kilometres of tunnels associated with the disused salt mines and therefore also of interest, business interest, to Prigozhin. In the midst of this dynamic battle, the two Britons were last seen moving from Kramatorsk to Solodar. Two fighting aid males moving to one of the most dangerous areas of the front line. It would be wrong to speculate on their fate, but Sky News understands that over six thousand Ukrainians have gone missing in this conflict to date. And despite the good work the Britons were conducting, they do seem to have found themselves in entirely the wrong place at the wrong time.